Hey everyone, this is Monica Lopez and today we're talking social media 101. All right guys, I'm about to spill to you the biggest secret in this business. Are you ready for it? All right, here we go. The value in this business is not Shakeology. The value in this business is not our workout programs. It's not P90X, it's not 21 Day Fix, it is not Core de Force, it is not T25. The value in this business is you. Your brand is your value, and you are your brand. And so when you think about our workout programs, when you think about Shakeology, when you think about so 21 Day Fix Container System, what you should think about is how they are your tools in this business, the tools that bridge you to your customer, to your, your sponsoring coach, to the person that you're helping. And that is what you're gonna to use to change them from the inside out, to help them better themselves, elevate themselves in their life. But it starts with inspiring them to do so. And the only way you can inspire someone to do something is to lead from the front. And so that's where the true value is, guys. It's right in you. So if you're worried about whether you can work this business or not, or if you're capable of building a successful business, I want you to look inward because everything you need, you have already got. It's just a matter of leveraging it, uh, working with intent, and deciding to go all in and be all of you the whole way through. All right? So now that we've cleared that up, you are your brand and you are your value in this business. The way that I like to brand myself is, is that I am, I think about what my, my most important roles in life are. And that's that I'm a wife and mother, right? I'm a mother of three. So other mothers out there with three or more kids, they understand my chaos. I relate well to them. I understand how hard it is to take time for themselves. And therefore, you know, I'm able to help out my next fellow mother out there. I'm also um, married to a man who enjoys and thrives through fitness just as much as I do. So that is something that we also attract couples that are, that are into fitness together. I'm also a retired paralegal, so I connect a lot with people in the, in the legal field, and I am a hustler at heart. I was born from it. My mom has uh, multiple businesses. She's been a business owner pretty much all of her life, um, my grandmother as well, and so it's something that I've always known and, and always had in me to do, and so I'm constantly out there sharing about who I am and branding myself because I know that that is where my true value is. So today I want to talk about what your goal is when you're branding yourself and going out there and sharing on social media. First and foremost, your goal is to stop scrollers, okay? And there's many ways to do that. You know, like on Instagram, we use a lot of photos um, that are stall, uh, uh, scroll stoppers. So you want to make sure that you're putting out great content that are going to make people stop and say, oh, I like that. That is appealing to the eye. If you're on Facebook, people like videos on Facebook. They like to hear your voice. They like to feel like they're right next to you. They also like to read. Um, they love storytelling. They love to know a little bit more about you. And so you want to make sure that what you're putting out there, your number one intent is to stop your scrollers, not have them just fly right by you like, oh, there goes Monica Lopez again, okay? And I'll tell you the truth. It takes some time to build up that trust and that audience. Number two, you want to make a connection with the scroller. So when they do take the time to stop and see what you have to say, that it brings the next point that I have, value value to their day, whether, and, and, and listen guys, it doesn't mean that everything has to be a dissertation <laughs> that you post, but whether it makes them laugh so hard, you've added value into their life because you share a little bit about your humor, you made them laugh, and you bright, brightened up their day for just that second. But whatever it is that you put out, make sure that there is a point behind it, add value. And then lastly, avoid spamming. If day after day after day, you post your Shakeology, you say good morning, and then you post your meal saying breakfast, and then you post a selfie saying excited for the day and that is it by day three four of the same thing you're spamming and people are avoiding you and they're scrolling right past you and they may love you and they may think they're great but they're just not interested in what you're doing so this is what our goal is we want to stop scrollers make a connection add value and simply avoid spamming the last thing you want is to be blocked deleted or ignored all right, so here we go. The meat and potatoes of today's call. My top 10, 
10 tips. Number one, make sure that whatever your screen name is, it is simple. The biggest piece of advice I can give you is make it your name. I'm Monica Lopez. I'm probably one of 1.2 million billion Monica Lopez's out there, but I just customize mine by putting underscore fit, but I know that my name carries tremendous value because I've created my brand around my name and who I am. Um, if yours says right now, hot mama with a booty, uh, first and foremost, nobody's going to know it's you. And second, you know, what are we branding here? There are coaches out there that have branded nicknames for themselves. Um, like Chick Fit Kim, I know has done it. Um, there's a lot of other coaches that you know them, Tanya the Machine, by their nicknames, which is completely fine. Whatever it is that you choose, I will say that it should have at the very least your first name and it should be something that you are ready to commit to and use consistently from here on out. Number two, make sure that your account is public. I know a lot of people are uncomfortable sometimes starting out with having a public account or perhaps don't want to share certain photos of their family or, or anything like that. You have two options. If you're on Facebook, I can tell you that every single thing you post on Facebook, I mean, down to every live video, to every photo, to every post, you have the option of picking who you want to choose to, to see it. So if you choose for it to be public because it is a business-based post, then you can make it public. If it's a picture of your children and you don't want anyone to see it other than your family and friends, then you can select family and friends. But for this purpose, you have to see it as we are in the network marketing business. It's like old school network marketing where you would get together a network of people, maybe cut over cocktails at a big party. And it's like coming to that party and standing in a corner with your, your face to the wall. You went to this party and you're not meeting new people. You are not creating new conversations. You are just in your little corner all by yourself. That's pretty much what you're doing when you run a private account because you're not out there sharing to the public who you are and networking. So that's way, the way that I, um, that's like a little picture I could paint for you to give you an analogy of what it's like to not have a public account. Okay, three. This book is Jab, 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 Right Hook is written by Gary Vaynerchuk, okay? He's only like the social media guru out there. But I'll tell you what, this book really changed the way that I run my social media account for my business. Um, I highly encourage you to pick that book up and read it, but I'm going to give you quickly, a quick, quick, quick uh, little explanation of what jab 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 right hook is all about and I hope that you take it away with you today and start to put the wheels in motion. Jab 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 right hook is a boxing analogy that Gary used to explain that we need to give 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 in order to get. What does that mean? That means that your jabs, all the jabs that you throw down on social media are posts about who you are, what you do, your humor, your hobbies, anything about you. You need to give people things about you, whether it's about your family, your hobbies, your, your workouts, your Shakeology selfies. Um, all this is information you're providing, maybe your free groups and stuff like that, things that you're giving out, the recipes that you share with your, your audience. You're giving, 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 giving. Why are we giving so much about us? Because we want people to feel like they know us. They want to relate to us. Remember, we want to make connections. When you make those connections, it is certain that when you come out, and it's absolutely, listen guys, you're in business. It's absolutely A-OK -okay to come out and say, I'm running a challenge group and I want you. I want to work with you. I know I can help you. Join me. When you're saying that, you have all right to do that. You are in business and you want people to know that you are in business. So the right hook, the analogy of the right hook is coming in and, and straight out asking for what you want. If you want someone to join your next coaching sneak peek because you think that they um, would be a great coach in this business, you have all rights to do that. But guess what, guys? If you're not out there giving about yourself and you're not making those connections, those right hooks are not going to be effective, okay? It's just like in boxing, right? You got to throw a couple jabs before you can come in for that, mm, that right hook. So let's talk about that for a second. If you're a person out there just simply jabbing, jab, 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 you're out there sharing all these things, all this, I mean, great content, but you never come in for the invite. You never come in for that call to action. You know what your audience sees? They see someone with it, just a really great hobby. And they're thinking, oh, look at that girl, Monica. She looks phenomenal for being a mother of three. Good for her. And it ends there, period, done. 
They have no idea you're in business and they have no idea they have a place in your world. Now let's throw it over to the other end. Let's say you don't share anything about yourself and you're just constantly like saying, Shakeology, ask me how, buy from me, or here's a workout if you're interested, it's on sale, or oh, join, be a coach of my team, you can make $1,000 a week. What are you saying to your audience? You're just simply sounding salesy, sounding like you're just trying to get someone to join you, you have absolutely no intent on, on, on not helping them, you just want them to buy, 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 or join, join, join. And so that could be a turnoff, right guys? We know that. Uh, we know that on social media there are tons of vendors selling um, products and, and you know, yes, everybody out there are consumers, but the real heart of this business, the, the, the real value of coaching is the relationship between a coach and their sponsor or a coach, a, a, a customer and their coach. That is the true value. Creating relationships is everything in this business. So that's that right there. That's gold right there that I just dropped for you guys. Liquid gold. Because if you can nail down that concept of jab, 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 right hook, you will have a thriving social media business. Okay. Four, posting schedule. What kind of goes back to jab, 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 right hook? You want to make sure that you know the content you're putting out and you're tracking it. Track your content because days and weeks, we know life can get crazy with kids, work, families, events, vacations, things can get crazy. And before you know it, it's been two months before you've shared your story. And you're thinking, oh, well, people are sick of hearing my story. Don't fall into that mind game. It, it is a mind game because you're tired of telling your story. You never know what set of eyes ran into your story that day and needed it. So it is important that you're constantly out there. Yes, it's going to feel like a broken record sometimes, but this is where you need to get creative and learn to tell your story in different ways, the same story in a different way, okay? so that you can capture the right person on the day that they need it because you'd never know who's out there watching. So posting schedules are important. Um, I say that you should have three things outside of beach body, outside of workouts, psychology and nutrition, three things about you that are concrete that will create your brand. Okay. For me, I have a, a couple more than three. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you that people know me for uh, being a mother of three. Okay. So they, like I said, they know that that chaos that I, I deal with day to day. Um, I love, absolutely love the color pink. So um, people know me for pink and, and glitter. Uh, two is, uh, three is that I have a Samoy puppy, which we absolutely adore. Her name is Sky, so a lot of people know me for Sky as well. And so those are kind of the things that I have created for myself um, where people know, they think pink, they think Monica. They think Samoy puppy, they think Monica. They think three kids, they think Monica. All right? Five. Share, don't tell. The best analogy I can give for share, don't tell is when it comes to, for example, your Shakeology. There is so much more value in putting a photo of Shakeology with, and, and with you in it or with you, within it or without you in it. It's fine. Either works, um, but that you're sharing why you love Shakeology, how it's changed your life, not just saying good morning, healthiest meal of the day, period. There's no value of that. But there is value in saying, you know, I was once a mom that every single day woke up so groggy, I could barely get down the stairs to make my coffee. I would run on fumes all day long. I wasn't active. I wasn't taking care of myself. And I had absolutely no time to make the meals that I knew my body needed. But because I started drinking Shakeology, it gave me the boost in energy. It's the 72 superfoods that feeds my body, that fuels me, okay, to be a better person, be a better mom, be a more active active and alive and alert person, which then drew me into workouts and has changed my life entirely. Boom. There you go. You're sharing a story. You're telling your story. Again, the value is in you. It's in you because you have testimony and your testimony is your liquid gold. Okay. You don't have to be anything special here, but a product of the product. Remember that. So share, don't tell. You could easily have gone out and listed every 272 superfoods in Shakeology. Who's going to relate to that? Half of them we can't even pronounce and we don't even know where they came from. And so, it's, and so is for your audience. The average person will not know what every single superfood is. So therefore, you're not providing much value with that. Okay? Number six, avoid stock photos. That means that 
you're so much better off posting your own shake. You're so much better off posting your own meals, your own workouts, you holding your DVD set and sharing a little story versus putting a logo of a, a workout program or a logo of 21 Day Fix or Autumn's face or Sagi's face or Shanti's face on your social media because, again, the brand is you. The value is you. Using stock photos, you just eliminated all of your value. You're just using a stock photo and you're like 400,000 other coaches out there that could use those same stock photos. Make sense? Hope so. Okay, seven, use clear photos, guys. Same goes for videos. Don't get too busy um, making all these collages that people are going to see as too busy. They're not eye-catching and they're going to scroll right past. Same thing with clear photos. It's, it's important. It just means like you took the time to look professional, to run your account with a little bit of TLC. All right? And I'll get, I'm going to give you guys a couple examples of those in just a second. Eight, Facebook, go live or Instagram stories. Speak, go live, do videos about yourself. Again, you want people to feel like they're right next to you, that, that you're, you're their buddy, you're their friend. Um, you're someone that they, that you, you're building a trust with them and they feel like they know you. That is your goal, okay? Nine, BFF role. This one's really important because I think a lot of new coaches, um, they become a coach, right? They start their business and they, then they plug into social media and they're like, all right, I'm going all in, I'm ready to do this. And then all of a sudden, they're afraid to post anything. They're like, I don't know if I'm going to say it right. I don't know if I'm going to do it right. Is this okay? And I, and I always have my brand new coaches and bless their heart. They want to send me all their posts to review beforehand before they execute because they're so worried about making a mistake. Let me ease your pain here. You cannot make a mistake if you are yourself. So we've implemented the BFF rule. That means when you post, go out and speak to the world as you would your best friend, your BFF, because that is what people are going to connect to. If all of a sudden you changed up the way you say things because you're trying to be or sound like someone you're not, you will get turned off, okay, by people. People will be like, okay, all of a sudden she's this coach. The day before yesterday, it was Monica Lopez, my friend. Now all of a sudden it's this coach who thinks – you know, has changed the way that they, they act, the way they sound, the way they are. I don't know what's going on. Sounds a little shady to me. Sounds like she's just trying to hook me, right? BFF rule. Continue to be who you are. Speak the way you are. Just go out there with intent. Go out there with intent to change lives and help people and share your journey. That's, that is the only thing, the only pressure you need to put on yourself. And then 10. And this is the biggest one. Don't let this last one, because in the bottom of the list, me, uh, fool you as being any less important because it's probably the most important in this entire list. Consistency is everything. Show up every single day. I show up every single day. Good day, bad day, great day, vacation day, a sick day. I will go on there and put a horrible picture of myself saying, sick with the flu, I'll be back tomorrow. Love you guys, thanks for the well wishes. Boom. I am still connecting to my audience. I'm still connecting to my business. My audience is my business and it is crucial, guys. Trust is everything in this business. Trust, relationships are everything. And they're going to come out of your consistency. People trust someone who doesn't give up. People want to lean on someone who they feel has, has it together. It doesn't mean that you're perfect. It just means that you are relentless. People are going to be attracted to someone who never gives up, who is relentless, who fights for themselves. That's what you want to be, okay? And that's going to come out of consistency, never giving up, never failing to show up. All right, so those are my top 10 tips. This was um, social media 101. Quickly, before I let you go, I put together a couple of examples of the things that I'm talking about. So one, this versus that. You see the picture on the right, how it's blurry, it doesn't look as great, and it's not as legible as the picture on the left. Again, guys, clear photos, clear videos um, are, are just that little added touch, that little TLC that can make all the difference, all the difference in your social media business. This versus that, you can see the picture on the right, it's busy, a bunch of words, 21 day 21 days, meal plans, workouts, free coach, order now. Oh, and a big, big no-no. A publicly posted link. 
fit mom, join me. This just screams, buy, buy, buy. I'm selling, just buy from me. Where the picture on the left, it says, I can, you can. Much more relatable because you know I'm talking to the next woman saying, if I can do this, so can you. And you best bet that in the caption of this photo, I shared a little story about my struggle and how I overcame it and how I can help others do the same. See the value? You see where there's value? All right. This versus that. This is a call to action, right? This is those right hooks we talked about. I'm asking someone to join my team or to, or to think about coaching because it's a, a great opportunity that's changed my life. The one on the right, all words, a Beachbody generic logo. And like I said, it's just going to earn money, get discount, look good, work from home, ask me how. So, so terrible. Absolutely no connection made there. But if you see the picture on the left, that is Stephanie Chico. You see her, and if you, you follow her, you already know all about her. She's a mother of three going on four. She's lost so much weight. She's overcome so much. And she's sharing how you can make your fitness, your business, just like she has. Which one's more inviting, guys? Which one creates a connection? It's, it's very simple. Next, this versus that. On the right. A, very, very <clears throat> um, dim picture of Shakeology. It's not even an attractive picture of the Shakeology bag. And it's easily say, like I said, healthiest people of the day, period, boom, no value. But then you see on the left, we've got Lily Rubio, which if you know her, which she's like the Shakeology queen. She makes all oh, the shakes look so delicious, but she takes the time to do that. And she takes the time to share recipes. And she takes the time to put herself in, that, in, in the photo and just say cheers to her audience. And you know that shake looks so delicious that you are like, where do I join? Where do I get one of those? That is what you want, guys. You want to be a scroll-stopping coach that is going to attract people and say, you know what? If she can, I can. And come on, look at that shake. So yummy. And that is it, guys. I hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please post them below, and I'll be more than excited to help you um, answer those questions. Thanks for tuning in.